Hey everyone, welcome to Chris TV, your regular roundup of all things UC and AV. And for the next couple of weeks, we are going to be talking about something called the Modern Work Summit. It's an event we host every year. It alternates between uh, Europe and North America. And luckily for me, it's going to be this year in sunny Orlando. Uh, and I can get my poor British skin to get some uh, some vitamin D finally. Uh, we've got some of our uh, hosts and presenters at the show coming to join us on Chris TV to talk to about some of the topics that they will be covering off. Uh, so it gives me great pleasure to bring on our first guest uh, for this Modern Work Summit, uh, Crest TV, which is Dan Newlett from uh, Carnegie Mellon, I believe, Dan. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Tell us, t- tell everybody, obviously this is this is global. Uh, for me, who's obviously the, the Brit and everyone else around the world, what is Carnegie Mellon? Who is Dan Newlett? And uh, tell us all about it. Yeah, so Carnegie Mellon based out of uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, an R1 institution. So a lot of research happens here. Um, I'm the director of learning technologies and media services and events at Carnegie Mellon University. What does that mean? That means we handle anything AV, computer related, printing related, uh, anywhere from design, engineering, project management across the board to implement the AV systems across campus. Right. And so university, so it's uh, what, 19, 20, 21 year olds, you've probably got some older, uh, more senior graduates, well, but general university kind of, um, you know, interns, um, internship there. Yeah, so it's basically 18 year olds to 20, 30 year olds. So we have, <laughs> 20, 30 year olds. Uh, it's, it's kind of, <laughs> no, the reason I say that is because uh, half of our um, student population is undergrads, which, you know, are your younger 18 to 22 year olds, but we have a the other half of our students, and I mean half, we're split in half, um, are graduate students. So they're obviously a little bit older. Um, they either been in industry and came back for another degree. Um, so they range all over the place. And is there a, is there a specific t- uh, topic or, or sort of subject that you kind of uh, specialize on there? Is, there? is it known for a specific subject or is it just pretty much generalized? So, no. So we have a robotics institute that uh, actually wow. was just part of one of the uh, groups that um, – was trying to put one of the robots up on the moon lately. Uh, uh-huh. We have, you know, School of Computer Science. We're big into drama, a lot of TV shows. If you're unaware, we have a lot of famous people that went through our drama program as well. <laughs> so, yeah, we're well diversed in various uh, majors. Very cool. I, I hear lots of stuff going around esports these days. We had someone on previously talking about esports. That seems to be a growing area of, uh, of people at university specializing on. So we don't we don't do a lot of esports here um, where we should maybe, but we do a lot of uh, hackathons. Okay. So we have a lot of uh, geniuses in our school of computer science that do a lot of hacking. So they have hackathons here. Ethical, and ethical. Can, hopefully, <laughs> that, yes, yes. It's all monitored. It's all monitored yeah, yeah. hacking. It's all monitored. Oh, so yeah. And and tell us, uh, we were talking before I press record about um, your role there, and obviously why we're bringing you on as a as an expert at the Modern Work Summit to talk about. Uh, uh, IT refreshes and grading of technology and, and clearly the big theme of, of Modern Work Summit is around AI. Talk to us about, again, what we were talking about earlier around uh, technology refresh and uh, and grading of technology and then how you guys are embracing AI into that space uh, and some of the stuff that you're going to be talking about at Modern Work Summit. Yeah, so um, as everybody, you know, industry has it, we would do our refresh on based on years. So we'd have like a three, five, seven, 10 year refresh cycles, depending on the equipment that we're looking at, then that would dictate our refresh cycles. So we could ask for funding and everything throughout. Well, with technology lasting a lot longer and meeting our requirements, we found that we would, if we were to grade each room and each equipment, anywhere from the technology to the flooring, to the chairs, to the walls and do it as a collective we would be able to gather one, get more money from leadership, but two, be able to have things last longer in a grading world than in a refresh cycle, right? So um, what we've been doing is we've been grading the rooms based on our standards. And, and as they, based on your standards, they develop a grade. And with that grade, we can then collectively do it and grade it just like higher ed does with a zero to four point or grade point average. And what that allows us to do is then to give a report to our leadership to say that, hey, we have so many A's, B's, C's, D grades to get the funding that we need for it. Where AI 
kind of ties into it is we are trying to work on how can we take those standards, compare them to what we have in the room. So it automatically, at least for the technology side of it, produces a grade that guides us in what direction we want to do over the next five to 10 years as we see technology developing. Really? Okay. So is there kind of a top three or top five kind of tips you could give to uh, organize out, uh, organizations out there, whether they be higher ed or, or commercial, uh, around kind of embracing this this concept of uh, of grading and an AI. What what can you kind of? Uh, again, I don't want you to give away any of the secrets that you're going to be presenting uh, in Orlando. But yeah. again, give us give us some some hints and tips for people uh, who are interested in this space. So no, it's all good. So the first thing that I always recommend is make sure that your inventory is up to date. Um, if you don't have a complete inventory, it's going to be tough to start this, um, breaking it down by the room. And then two, having actually your standards written out and agreed upon across your leadership levels. So everybody's on the same page. Um, one of the other things that we found valuable is getting uh, different committees together from the various teams that be in the uh, AV side to the registrar, to your facilities even to your full campus design partners that do design development for buildings and having a committee to review this stuff to make sure you're all on the same page. Um, and that's a key component. If, if you're doing it on your own, you're not going to succeed. But if you have a team effort going on with all the buyers, then you'll have better success. Very cool. And, and any thoughts on why, uh, other than to come and see you and hear about all this great, any reasons why people should come to the, the, the Modern Work Summit in Orlando who are maybe sitting on the fence uh, and um, thinking about whether they should come? Yeah, so I'm actually speaking with two other folks from industry that have a different perspective and how they see it from their side. I'm seeing it from an education side. They're seeing it from an industry side, um, anywhere from large business deployments, to worldwide deployments, to in-house developing of assisting um, various companies and folks with this uh, methodology. So, um, yeah, come hear us out. There's there's other great people in the panel with me. Very, very cool. Uh, where can people find out more information about you and the university if they want to find it out? I guess you're uh, you're a social kind of guy. Are you, are you LinkedIn? Are you X? Where do you where do you kind of hang out socially? Apart from the bar. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, on, on LinkedIn, just look up Dan Nolette. Um, I'm there. Um, I believe my 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 X handle is uh, Dean Nolette as well. So if you want to hit me on uh, on X, I'm on there as well. Very cool. And within so, the university, where where can people find out more? Is the website universities? University? Uh, cmu.edu and uh, if you just type in classrooms you'll be able to either get some insight on how we do our instructions and uh, take a look at what they look like very cool i'm excited to uh again see you over in orlando in the sunshine i'm hoping uh please bring it i'm with hoping you. as well yeah there you go you're the same, same kind of latitude probably as uh, as me up there in pennsylvania uh here in london or getting close but thank you ever so much for for coming on and joining us i'll see you in a few weeks in orlando thanks dad thanks neil Thank you all for joining and tuning in to this Modern Work Summit, a teaser for us here at Crest TV. We're going to be in Orlando uh, joining the Masters team with Modern Work Summit. And again, I'll be hosting the event. Make sure you follow us on social, uh, hashtag uh, Crest TV and hashtag uh, MWS Modern Work Summit. I don't know, we just check that one out. Um, Jake, make sure you join us, subscribe, ring the bell. And we are here every week on Crest TV with loads of guests and cool stuff coming up in the future. So I will see you, if not before, on the next one.